death in times. And also for attack, you can, well, hold attack button to do combination attack. But if you don't like the idea of hold button, you can re push it repeatedly to do the same thing. And please note that Noxie's weapons have been changed automatically. So it's all about switching between defense and attack at the right time. And that's rule number one from Gladiolus. And in this game, well, your HP and MP generate automatically, but when your HP reaches zero, you will be in endangered status, and Come if you attack more and more, you will be eventually <sighs> be a game nice over. Style. But your friends will rescue it for you for you, so you don't worry. In this game, you can warp by using a warp button, and well, hey. with warp button, you can warp to high places, or when you lock onto the target, you can warp right right to the enemy. Well, Gladiolus might not be fast, but for fast enemy, warping and doing co exact combination is really useful. But beware that warping costs MP. And also, there are techniques which is ability that is embedded in your weapons, the weapon you're equipped, but it costs MP too. So do lots of defense, do lots of warp, do lots of techniques, but beware MP. Because if you're in, when your MP is zero, you will be in the status, and in the status, you cannot guard, and that's very dangerous. So, well, just wait, and it's, well, generate, all, recover automatically. But if you can wait, just cover, or go to the high place, and your recover will be very fast. Well, that's cheating. <laughs> so, use technique, use warp, use defense, but try to, well, manage your MP wisely. That's rule number two from Godzilla's. And in this game, you can do the parry to enemy attack. To do that, well, some of the enemy attacks cannot be guard, and you know, there are Marco in with this attack. With this attack, during you, your guard motion, you Whoa, can press bu attack guy. button to do the parry, and press attack once again to do the bonus attack, which deals lots of damage. So rule number three is parry every time you can. And for the weapon setting, if you notice, you have found that Noctis weapon changes all the time, and those changes can be set here. Now you see you have five weapons here, each with its own motions, its own technique, its own passive abilities. Like for the sword, is well, it absorbs MP and fast. For the pole arms, it's well a bit slow, but it have a high critical rate. And for the great sword, it is the lowest, but it has the highest damage. So you want to use the right weapon in the right situations. So here what you do, there are five slots in orange text, you know, and five slot means five different situations. So for the first cross slot, it means the first attack. So if you want to use a strong bow for the first attack, equip red slot to it. The railway slot refers to the combination attack. You might want to do a strong attack, but not too slow. So you may, you may use pole arm. And uh, Vanquish is the last attack in the combinations, and Counter is Counter Attack. In this case, well, let's say we want a fast Counter Attack, so just equip a normal slot to it, and see what happens. When you change, just, just think of the, your attack also change. Now you do the first attack with a great sword, Counter with a sword, and then combination attack with the full arms. So change these uh, great weapon setting according to the enemy you find in the game, and you should be fine. And that's rule number four in battles. So do techniques and chain weapons and do parry, and you should be fine in the battles. And lastly, if you find your friends in a danger status, be sure to rescue them. I'll make sure you never and this concludes Gladiolus Bootcamp.